Wanted to give you an update on a story that we've been keeping our eye on here. So some of you all may have followed this. After Bernie Sanders suspended his campaign, there was an effort in the state of New York to remove him and also Andrew Yang and other candidates from the ballot. Now, why does this matter? For a couple of reasons. And by the way, very strongly suspected that Andrew Cuomo is behind this move and part of his longstanding war uh, against progressives. So a couple of reasons this matters. Number one, um, Bernie, even though he's suspended, still wanted to people, people to go out and vote for him so that he could accumulate delegates, right. so that progressives could have a voice at the DNC, just like they did last time around, which ended up being important in terms of getting rid of super, of, uh, mm -hmm. super delegates and things like that. Okay, so that's number one. Number two is you have some other races down ballot where the suspicion is very strong that if you don't have Bernie at the top of the ticket driving people out, other progressives who are running in primaries down ballot would be negatively effective because turnout would be down. There's a lot of confusion about, OK, people were, you know, were confused about whether those primaries were even still going on. Of course, they were. But the thought was that this would depress turnout. OK, so that was the state of affairs. Bernie Sanders and others had been removed from the ballot. So Andrew Yang actually sued and we just found out one. So a federal judge on Tuesday ordered election officials in New York State to hold that Democratic primary election in June and reinstate all qualifying candidates on the ballot. A challenge is still possible here, but for the moment, it looks like Andrew Yang, who um, his legal team apparently is coordinating also with the legal team of the, the Sanders campaign, has won and being able to get Bernie Sanders' name and others back on the ballot. Yeah, so I mean, it's a it's a huge victory. And a as you say, it, the, the suspicion was, as I had tracked this kind of as an outsider, was that they were trying to suppress the vote, people who would want to come out and symbolically vote for Sanders or for Yang or whomever, because those would affect the down ballot races. That would affect kind of the New York political machine of the Democratic Party. And that just seems eminently clear from this result. So yeah, it's a good thing that Andrew Yang got the it back on the ticket because again, it's a it's a this is just blatant um, ballot engineering and, yeah, and democracy completely. fraud. And that that is something that is just unconscionable. So it's good that the courts got involved here. Well, in and it's court. also I mean it's so ironic because Democrats um, um, number one, they've lionized Andrew Cuomo throughout right. all of this, including a lot of progressives. And this is an important reminder that if you are a progressive, Andrew Cuomo is not your friend. He has never been your friend. In fact, he probably hates your guts. He has gone to war with the Working Families Party and other progressives in the state of New York. But number two, if Republicans did pull these kind of shenanigans, like cable news would melt down, Democrats would be freaking out, as they should, about voter suppression. But here, when it's a Democrat who is trying to do this, it fell to sort of like the progressives and the anti-establishment figures to raise alarm bells and say, hey, you guys are basically suppressing the vote here. You are, yeah, engineering this election to your own ends. And so maybe we should do something about that. And at least for now, federal judge agrees. Yep. So there you go. So tomorrow on Rising, former Sanders campaign national co-chair Nina Turner is going to join us with her perspective on Joe Biden's campaign. And journalist Zed Jelani is going to weigh in on what it says about the media at large that an essay from the 1619 Project won a Pulitzer Prize. I'm very excited for that discussion. Don't forget, guys, to subscribe, like, and share, and also send in your hashtag rising cues. They might be answered here on the show. I've been pointing upward at subscribe, but I think it's actually somewhere around here. So go subscribe. Subscribe wherever guys. it is. <laughs>